I. So you've decided to start playing Valorant, and you're trying to decide what kind of role you want to play. Now me, and Ascendant 2 controller main, I'm going to tell you, if you choose to play controller, it's going to be hard. My reason is that being a controller, someone that controls the smokes, is very crucial on communications being a thing. Which, if you've played a couple games before, you know that it's very rare to have a whole team talking. So... Unless you're playing with your friends, just know playing a controller will tend to upset you from here to there because your teammates aren't calming, but then they're yelling at you because you didn't smoke for them. So I'm going to go ahead and do a map-by-map -map rundown on where you should be smoking and when you should be smoking. So let's go ahead and get right into this example that we are using Astra and Omen. Now, I personally prefer both those two controllers because in my opinion they're the most useful uh it also does depend on the map but i do feel like these two are very universal to when it comes to playing controller so i do want to go over that here so for example right now in this example astra is playing on offense omen is playing defense usually whenever you want to throw a smoke you don't want to necessarily throw it if it is a fake right uh, on this map, luckily, the choke points are pretty simple. To If you use one smoke, you'll have another to use for the opposite site because you do have two smokes. You're not too worried about that. Now, if they split a site, then that's when you would run into trouble. But luckily, we're just going to go over the simple stuff. So for offense, if you want to do an entry, you want to make sure that you ask for smoke for market and for CT on B. And for A, you want to make sure it's for heaven and for tree. Now, a super important thing that you want to know is the cutoff points. The choke points is where you want to have the smoke cut off. Therefore, where this wall ends, you want to make sure your smoke does not go past this point. If it goes past this line, it's technically a bad smoke because you're giving them room to play with with the smoke. As a defender, you do not want it to go past this line. Why? Not the straightest line, but it doesn't matter. You do not want to give them space to come into the smoke, flash out, and push onto site at the same time. Let's say that your teammates say, hey, there's a couple mid pushing, trying to push. You would smoke bottom mid. If they tell you, hey, some made it into our bottom mid, then you would place this smoke so that your teammates, let's say, for example, you could have a teammate that's playing here, watching here, and a teammate here, watching here. So you this way, they'll see someone come out of the smoke, and then they will see someone if they try to come out and swing, and then it'll be a perfect cross. Now, it is very important that you know when to use these and you don't get faked out. So this is where the whole communication thing comes in kind of handy. If your teammates are only pinging and typing, you're going to have to be good at looking at the map for info when you play smokes, because if not, you're just going to have a really hard time. Make sure that you guys tune in for the next episode where I'm going to be going over bind for smokes. Thanks for watching. All right, so really quick, your basic smokes for B, right? Usually you want to put one here, one here. Same lesson as yesterday. Make sure you put it at the cutoffs. Sometimes your teammates will ask you to put this one a little bit deeper. Easy changes. Another thing, if for some reason you guys know that there's multiple playing on A side and you have maybe only one, instead of smoking for CT here, you can put it here so that the, then they have to f be worried about walking out the smoke and getting tapped from here or here. So this is usually a smoke that you want to use if you've gained control of the backhaul. Now, um, for A, you do want to smoke. Like, if you guys just want to go for the plant, you guys usually... Uh, a sage will be on the team who can wall off here. But you still want to smoke here, and then you want to use a second smoke on top of this box here to block heaven. And it also just it is a good cover because sometimes people will be out of heaven, in heaven. You just never know. So it's just a, a good double smoke to put down. If you guys are going to go shower side, then you put a smoke here. You can either put a smoke here or you can put a smoke heaven. It's your choice. But you're going to have to end up fighting this somehow. Usually you want to smoke here because what this does is it cuts off this person helping. So initially, usually people would 
play from here to play the contact, which then the person that's playing here or here would swing to help. But by smoking this, you take care of this area or anybody playing from here, and you have to – you basically isolate and know that they have to play here uh, to fight, take this fight. So it's either this smokes or this smokes. Now, a tip that I do have to give you guys is that if they are on an eco round, if you see that they don't really have money, you don't want to use the same smokes. You have rifles. They probably are going to have shotguns, pistols, sheriffs. Maybe they have a marshal. But if they have a marshal, it's going to be pretty rare in lower elo that they're going to try and play super aggressive with it. So then you, what you could do is you smoke heaven and then you smoke CT and you make sure that you guys explode onto site. Usually never want to go B on a save round for the enemy team on uh defense because the shorties or shotguns in general and hookah are annoying and unless you want to just all go along but you have to know to make sure that you guys clear for hookah so just remember that now on defense smokes would go here and if you want to take space which you normally do you want to, if you know that they're coming this way, you want to smoke here. That way, whoever's playing showers can take space and they have to use util to clear this. They have to use util to clear this. Do not smoke here because they could just get on top of the box and shoot over it. Same thing on this side and this side. You can, if someone's jump peeking this, you can ask to, uh, be asked to put the smoke here. It could be here. It could be here. Remember, if you have the time to make them use util by putting your smoke somewhere annoying, do so, right? So putting it here forces them to use a util to clear hookah. Putting it here is just a prevention so that they don't explode onto site uh, too fast to the point where your teammates can't rotate. Same with this. puts it, Makes it so that this person can play contact and fight this. And as soon as they walk into garden or into the garden area, then this person can take the fight here. Okay, or flowers, whatever you guys call it. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you guys leave a like and leave a comment if this is helping, especially if you're new to Valorant. And make sure that you guys go over to the Twitch, follow on there, join the Discord as well, okay? Peace. All right, what's up? Welcome back. We're going to do Fractures, Basic Smokes. Um, we're going to start off with B-Side. Oh, pardon me. I hit the mic. So on B-Side, for defense, it's pretty simple. You usually just put one at the entrance of B main and then one at the entrance from arcade. Now, on Fracture, it's very important to know this. The teams that succeed the most on Fracture are those that take space the most on defense. Therefore, this smoke and this smoke that I have here. So now, the reason I say this is because by you taking space, you're taking away or making the other team use util slash taking away space that they have to play with for lurking. Because this map is very heavy like lurk sided because it's so easy to just rotate out that people will sometimes just lurk to try and get a pick on the opposite site and once they know that it's clear they'll just rotate back and plant the spike on the other side so yes taking like being aggressive here like the usual breach play would be to concuss into main have rays nade and then breach flashes to push with the rays to fight uh people that are here so just know that aggressive plays are going to win you a lot on Fracture. And then for A, your basic smokes is if you know they're coming from drop, you smoke drop on defense and then main. Uh, you can also do it deeper, like here, for example, because what this makes it do is use util to, or they're going to use somebody to try and clear this. And then also it's an earlier fight for yourself if you're inside of sight than having to fight a whole team coming out, like bursting out of the smoke here. So if they're going to burst out of the smoke here, at least you can isolate more fights by the smoke being deeper. So, yeah, those are your defensive ones for offense. For B, pretty simple. You want to make sure that you smoke this corner because you don't want to leave someone here that can shoot here or shoot into arcade, right? So that's the reason that I have that smoke there, here. That way that's covered. And then this one just goes next to the screen. Um, to protect shooting from spawn slash screens area. For A, you it all depends how your team wants to play it. If your team wants to execute only through a main slash sands, then you can smoke drop, you can smoke CT, and you can smoke tower. And then if your team is doing a split, meaning that some people are going to go dish, which is up here, then you don't have to smoke tower. You keep one smoke, and then you can smoke CT, and you can smoke tower. That way your team can execute through a main, sands, and somebody coming up from dish 
if they obviously win their fight because usually someone will be playing dish but yeah i hope that this video helps you guys and i will see you guys on the next one which will be haven peace all right welcome back and today we are doing haven i keep on saying today like it's not in day but anyways uh today we're gonna be doing haven for smokes for offense we have brim for defense we have open we're gonna go ahead and start with c site gonna try and get through this quickly okay for c whenever you're defending there's a one way that you can place on the top of the frame for the garage entrance and then you obviously can either put a short smoke here or you can put it deep depending on how your teammates are wanting to play it for b you put a normal smoke mid like this if you know that they're trying to come into B. Now, if you have a Jet or a Reyna that wants to try and peek out mid and dismiss and then dash back, you can put the mid smoke on window. That way they can swing out and fight this and then dash back in or dismiss. And then for A, if you're trying to take some control, you can put it into a lobby deep so that your teammates can fight this and only fight people that have made it into lobby and not people that are waiting on the planners back here. Um, you ha either can hold sight and put down the first smoke to fight them as soon as they come out of this smoke, or you could put down the second smoke if you want to give up a little bit more because only there's only one player playing and they're not even really playing to take. They're playing basically here to pick up an exit kill and then just wait for the rest of the team. For A main, if someone's playing heaven, the main reason that I'm saying you want to smoke here instead of here is because if you smoke here, spamming um, whenever they're walking into, into this smoke will be a lot easier because you only have this range to cover instead of having all of this space to cover or all of this space to cover if you put it in the middle like this, right? So I'm mainly saying like that just so that if you do end up taking a fight, they don't have much space to run, whether it, and it only leaves them going either forward or backwards. And then now for offense, you hit C, you usually want to smoke the garage uh, entrance onto site. That way nobody can help the person C from inside a garage. And then you smoke back site CT so that they can't walk out and try and help in any way. You can also, you really have to be careful with this back area all the time or somebody tucking here. But these are usually your normal smokes. Sometimes you will smoke, you won't smoke here, you'll smoke garage window and then you'll smoke back here just so that your teammates can split onto site. And then usually these people would fight whoever's here while these people focus on here and uh, pushing here to fight back site. For B, you usually want to take control of one of the sides. I preferably like taking A link. So you'd smoke B here so that whoever's here can fight here. And then you'd smoke deep into a link and you would fight for this space because you don't want to go plant B and not control one of the two sides. So this is ideally I usually take a link and for a you have your usual heaven smoke and then you put a smoke right here with the choke point being here because by doing this usually people will sit here and wait for you to come out and get a kill and then run into the smoke. So you don't want to give them that opportunity. I hope that. This video helps y'all out and make sure that you guys come back for the next map, which will be Lotus. All right, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and go over Lotus. Now for Lotus, uh, I honestly had have to say, even though I personally don't enjoy using Harbor too much, Harbor is going to be the best person to use for smokes on Lotus just because he can cover a lot of the site with his wall. But let me just tell you this, if you guys don't prefer to use Harbor, other operators that are smoke controllers are still good. Sometimes even using two controllers on this map is usually ideal, like an Omen and a Viper is a great combination. So now, what I do want to go over for myself, one of the main reasons I say this is because, for example, B, you have three possible points of entry for the defensive team, and you only have two smokes to put down unless you're playing Brim which would honestly be ideal, but usually you're going to have to select two places to smoke off so that you have to fight for the third. So I personally, I'd rather fight someone for the control of the C link and then smoke off heaven and smoke off the link from A, primarily because it's so easy to pick one off, like pick somebody off while they're walking past here from link, A link here and 
it, it then hide again. And same thing with heaven. It's so easy to hold like a cheeky angle with an op or uh, like a, a vandal and get a cheeky one tap as they're trying to get onto site to plant. So I personally like to smoke these two off. Then for A, you usually start off by smoking off the stairs. And then once you smoke off the stairs, you are able to take control of this whole area. And then you after that, you would then go to smoke the heaven so that when you're walking in, you guys don't get shot at. And sometimes people like to one way this box so that people that are in tree after like once you get a smoke back as omen, you're able to fight the people there. Then for C, it's pretty simple. You just smoke waterfall, you smoke back site, and those are your two very simple basic smokes. Next on defense, I really like to use Astra on this map mainly because you it's pretty simple to do the smokes. You smoke off B mid main, and then you can put a concuss and a pull right behind the smoke so that when they're running in, you concuss and pull them. Uh, you smoke off A link because people are usually rotate in from A. And then here, it's really simple. You just see main and then concuss and pull behind it. This can go either or for the sides. It all depends on what your teammates are coming, if they're pushing into tree or through main. But ideally, you want to smoke off here to line up with this box so that somebody, if they wanted to, can play here and then play here as people are walking in just to kill them. Or if they walk out of the smoke, they know that nobody is going to be necessarily past this point as long as their teammates are still on site and then obviously the tree smoke so that people can play from drop or from site and catch them as they try to peel through this smoke but these are your very simple setups again you there is different possibilities that get more complicated but i want to keep it to the basics so that I can help you guys especially the newer players understand what you should be doing with your smokes all right and welcome back to pearl so for pearl on defense let's we're playing omen for defense astra for offense for example the most common smokes that you will pr probably see at the moment on pearl are these smokes where you're cutting off from screens to the corner of the beginning of sight but the bad part about this is it's kind of helpful for the other team because what you're allowing them to do is they're able to place here and again this is one of those maps that harbor is actually really good on so for example if you do this harbor can walk up put his bubble here and the team can plant safely and you're kind of helping them with your smoke because as soon as they plant they can retreat into your smoke and then run away so what a better way to do it is by putting these two smokes to the left or the right of the pillar not only now does the enemy team have to fight and use util through these smokes but they're gonna worry that somebody might be in this corner somebody might be in one of the smokes someone might be right behind the pillar and therefore are going to have to waste more time to try and figure out if there's someone up close but now this also will give your team time to rotate over and help to make sure that they can't make it through because there's other util that can be used from other agents to prevent them from pushing and it basically would just make them waste their util for mid for obviously if you know that some people are coming through mid you can have a smoke that is placed right at the doors and then that way people can either play from bottom b link or in the connector doorway for art if they if you hear that they're pushing mid through art then you would just smoke the bottom of the stairs and the reason i say the bottom is because that way somebody can be in connector and then somebody can come up to the top of the stairs that lead onto site and you can fight it together here and then obviously the a main super basic now for attacking i personally like to smoke out b link and then i smoke out heaven because these are very common spots to be standing in usually there's other util that can be used to push people back and out of sight but what i like to personally do is after i put these down i put the pulse right behind the sign here or the jenny that way, if anybody is trying to hide here or run out of the smoke when we go to plant or start to try and execute onto the site itself, I concuss people that try and walk out. So that way it's an easier fight for my teammates. And then when I go A, I smoke secret and I smoke flower shop. And then I put a concuss either back site if we don't have a breach or just anybody that can do some sort of initiator entry for our duelist or if they're not playing with the team because that sometimes happens. And then I, I, or I put it up here on the stairs so that they aren't trying to fight while we're getting onto site. So these are your pretty basic smokes. You can use these a little bit further back if you have more control or somebody was able to lurk onto site and then you guys know that it's clear. 
Sometimes I even will push this smoke back all the way to here because it makes it so that there's only a little tiny gap where they can make it through. And if we have early control because of a lurk, then it's really easy to fight people back here and then retreat and then just little by little give up space on the offensive side. I hope that this helps you guys out and stay tuned. All right, and welcome back to the final basic smoke video. We're going to go ahead and be doing Astra for offense and Omen for defense and kind of give you just a little rundown on what the basic smokes would be. All right, so for uh, a site, you are going to go ahead for offense, place your smokes for screen and when one for heaven. You can sometimes pull this out a little bit, mainly because you don't want to have to worry about this elbow person. They could be fought off afterwards once we have control of site. But to do this, that's why I put a pulse behind the sign and a pull be on elbow because that way when my team pushes in, they can swing wide here and fight this person, and then I, since it's concussed and pulled, they'll have a chance to take their time and then fight these angles. And even if someone does play this smoke, it'll be really easy to catch them if we have control of sight. So this is mainly just so that nobody gets picked off when they're trying to get onto site from here, and then he, he's able to back up and play from back sight. Uh, as for defense on the A side, you your usual smoke for main, you can put it here if you have people that are trying to fight for this space but let's say if you have a teammate that's playing on site in one heaven and you don't have uh three players on this side able to fight for the control you can place one here to prevent them from going onto site but this usually will mean that they will try to take heaven control now this smoke is like a 50 50 because it can be good but you have to realize that they can jump out of this smoke out into this corner and be covered by the smoke slightly. So it can be dangerous. That's why I personally like to put a smoke here when I smoke off. Because that way somebody can play from right on top of vents and jump down if they get in trouble and back of heaven here. Or even from the rafter if they're not pushing in through here. So this is why I do this. Now, for the offense on B, I'd like to place my smoke for heaven and for alley and then i put a pulse back sight or back behind the pillar here so that when my teammates push out they're able to take all this space and not have to worry about somebody's hiding behind the box or trying to fight them off here because i'll push them off of it maybe he'll fight from this corner and run into the smoke but it's you'll check that also people might hide back sight but usually we have raised maids or some sort of util to clear that now, for defense on B, it's pretty simple. Just put the B main smoke. And or if they're trying to do a split, you can either do your primary smoke, which would be out here to prevent them from going up the stairs. Or if they've already made it upstairs, you put it on the top of male stairs. That way you can fight two people in heaven fighting for the space here. Uh, an offense for mid, for Astra, what I like to do is I smoke vents. And then sometimes I'll use both concuss and pull because I'll put a concuss on the middle of heaven and then i'll put a pull in this corner so that they can't hide in this corner and i'll activate it once my teammates hit about mid male that way they're able to entry into heaven with the use of my utility <clears throat> so usually can come very in handy and that's pretty much it i hope that you guys enjoyed these last couple of basic smokes videos and make sure you guys like and comment on them bye